Okay, so a 0 0.3 meter long vertical circuit board insulated at the back surface is suspended in a room where the ambient air is, uh, where the ambient air and surrounding walls are both 20 degrees Celsius. Determine the temperature of the board if it dissipates 30 watts of heat into the room. The surface of the board has an emissivity of 0 0.8, the width of the board, the circuit board is this. Okay, so let's draw a diagram to depict what is going on. So we have a vertical circuit board, right, being suspended. Okay, suspended means hanging, okay, hanging from the ceiling. Okay, so it is a width of 0 0.2, it has a length of 0 0.3, emissivity of 0 0.8. Okay, we do not know what is the surface temperature, this is unknown, and we want to find it. Okay, uh, surrounding is equal to the ambient temperature, which is equal to 20 degrees Celsius. And I'm going to convert this to Kelvin because there's going to be radiation involved. Okay, we're going to convert it to Kelvin because radiation is involved. So we know that heat is being expelled from this circuit board, right? Q dot, which is uh, 30, 30 watts, right? You said 30 watts. Yeah, 30 watts. So, what are the modes of heat transfer that is used to transfer heat uh, from the circuit board? So, we know there's air, right? So, there's convection. And then they give us a surrounding temperature and emissivity. So, we know there's radiation. So, what you can write is that this heat, this 30 watts, is expelled via radiation and convection. Did I say conduction just now? Okay, I think I meant convection. Okay, convection. Ah, I'm always so mixed up. I don't know, heat, heat transfer, I always get mixed up with all the words convection, conduction here, and there's a heat transfer coefficient. All the words are so mouthful. Yeah, anyways. Uh, uh, yeah, so now we're going to replace uh, radiation and convection with their appropriate formulas. So for radiation, we have epsilon, sigma, A, T, uh, the surface, minus T, radiation, Oh, sorry, sorry, I don't know why I said T radiation, T surrounding, okay, T surrounding. Okay, and then plus the uh, Newton's law of cooling. So H, A, T, S minus T, infinity. Okay, so I believe we have every value, right? We have this, we know this, we know this, uh, we do not know this, we know this, we do not know this, we know this, we do not know this. Uh, we know this. Okay. So I think we are supposed to find TS. And we also know what's Q dot, right? Q dot is 30. It's 30 watts. And we also do not know what is the H. Can we find H? Yes, we can find H. So let's go ahead and find H first. Now, how do you find H? What you must do is refer back to natural convection. Why natural convection? Because there is no uh, fluid speed given to us. There's no U infinity given to us. Okay, so this is a natural convection problem. So, uh, natural convection, and in particular, in particular, this is a vertical plate problem. Okay, vertical flat plate problem. Okay, so if it is a vertical flat plate, what you do is you use the vertical flat plate formulas. So you pull this out of your lecture notes, pull this out, and then uh, use the formulas accordingly. So we first thing first is we want to calculate the Nusselt number. But Nusselt number requires us to find the Rayleigh's number. So always in natural convection problems, find the Rayleigh number first. So you use this formula for the Rayleigh's number. So Rayleigh's number is given by G beta T W. Okay, T W is the same thing as T S. Okay, it's both the surface temperature. This is the same as T S. L cube divided by nu alpha okay so see we need to find the fluid properties right fluid properties requires us to find the till the the film the film temperature a t film which is given by surface temperature plus the ambient temperature divided by two but the thing is we want to find the surface temperature but the thing is we need the surface temperature to find the film temperature so what do we do we need to guess okay we need to assume a value for TS first. Okay, we need to guess at TS. And how do we assume what's the appropriate TS? Well, you know that the surrounding temperature is 20 degrees Celsius, right? And they say the board dissipates heat. So that means 
heat transfer occurs from the board to the surrounding, okay? From the board to the surrounding. And remember, heat always flows from a hotter region to a cooler region. So that means you know that if this is 20 degrees Celsius and heat flows towards this 20 degrees Celsius, that means the board must be hotter than the 20 degrees Celsius. So you just choose any temperature above 20 degrees Celsius. You can choose 100, you can choose 50, you can choose 1000, you can choose 60, whatever, as long as it's above 20 degrees Celsius, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assume it's 80 degrees Celsius, okay? So I, uh, okay, assume, see? So when I say assume, I, I really, I, I actually mean that I'm guessing, okay? I guess that Ts is equal to 80 degrees Celsius. So this is 80 plus 20 divided by 2. Uh, 80 plus 20 divided by 2 means it's 50, right? Okay, so uh, convert this to Kelvin. So my film temperature is uh, 323 Kelvin. So that means my beta is 1 over Tf, which is equal to 1 over 323. Okay, so you will use this 50 degrees Celsius, right, to uh, find the fluid properties. You use this to find your fluid properties. So this will help you find your, you know, your new, your alpha, your panel number, and whatever have you. Okay, so again, let's go find our radius number. So radius number is given by 9.81 times 1 over 323, 80 minus 20, times the length of the board cube divided by 1.798 times 10 to the power of negative 5. Okay, this is what I got from the property table. Then 2487 times 10 to the power of negative 5, also property table. Then after that, punch this out, you get 1.10 times 10 to the power of 8. Now you go back to the uh, formula for the vertical flat plate and make sure you notice that this is 10 to the power of 8, right? Okay, this is 10 to the power of 8. So we calculated Rayleigh number is 10 to the power of 8. Uh, 1.1 times 10 to the power of 8. Now you check, where does it fall under? This range or this range? The laminar or the turbulent range? Now it falls under the laminar range, right? So if it is the laminar range, then your C will have a value of uh, 0 0.59 and your N will have a value of 1 over 4. Okay, so you calculate your Nussel number, your Nussel number using 0 0.59 R A L uh hold up yeah to the power of one quarter and then you plug in your Rayleigh number which you calculated earlier 1.10 times 10 to the power of 8 one quarter is 60.42 uh 7 yeah and after that always remember once you have muscle number you can find your H okay using this formula so N U is equal to H L K. Okay. Let's check back out here. Yeah, okay. So your nozzle number, plug it into here, right? This is the value of the nozzle number, 60.60.427 60 equals to this is unknown times 0 0.3. What about this? Okay, K, I got it from the property table. Then after that, you find out what's H. So your H will be calculated out to be 5.150. Oh, man. And writing is trash. So 5.508. Okay, so this is your H. So what you do is, now we're going to plug it back into our energy here. This, this whole thing, okay? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to substitute values into here and so on, okay? I'm gonna plug in all the values that I can into here. So, plug in the values. We know this 30 watts is equal to 0 0.8 is the emissivity, sigma of the bottom is constant. Then the area is given by 0 0.2 times 0 0.3. Then the temperature is Ts4 to the minus 293. Remember, this must be in Kelvins, okay? Radiation must be in Kelvins. Then plus, okay, the H, right? Now we want to plug in the H into the Newton's law of cooling. So. You plug in this H, okay? So I'm going to do it in the next line. So 5.50893 times the area, 0 0.2 times 0 0.3 times the temperature difference. Okay. Make sure that this temperature difference is also in Kelvin. 
Because why? TS, right, in this radiation formula is in Kelvins. So to keep it consistent with this TS over here, this one must also be in Kelvins. Therefore, this one must also be in Kelvins. Okay, so every temperature that you plug into this equation right now must be in Kelvins. Okay, so see, we have one equation, one whole equation with one unknown. Your unknown is TS. But the problem is we have a fourth power equation. Okay, we have a fourth power unknown. We have a fourth power polynomial. So this is not easy to do by hand. Okay, this is not easy to solve by hand. So we use this, our graphing calculator. So graphing calculator, calculator. So I'm going to stop sharing and share my calculator.